Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be working on part two of my gun cabinet build. And if you have not seen part one yet, click on that link up in the top right corner, check that video out, and then come back and see what I've got planned today. So today I'm hoping that I can finish off most of the construction of this cabinet, finish off the moldings around it, um, put in the, the gun rack that will hold the guns up in place, and then maybe even build the doors. But most likely I won't be able to mount the doors or even build the glass door until next week. I'll save that for next week as well as adding all the hardware like the hinges, handles, and the lock on the front. And then I will also be sanding, staining, and finishing the wood next week. So stick around, see what I've got planned, and stay tuned for next week's video for part three of this gun cabinet build. All right, today I'm gonna to start with cutting down these oak boards into pieces of trim that I can use on the gun cabinet. All right, now I'm gonna start framing up the trim around the gun cabinet and I will put some wood glue on this and then tack it with some brad nails just to hold it until the glue dries and the glue will do most of the strength in holding the wood together. So the trim is almost done. I just need to attach the base before finishing the trim.
for the inside, I'm gonna put some moldings in the corners as well. And for this, I trimmed down the oak board into a square molding and I'll be attaching this into the corners. All right, so I'm gonna start building the door for the bottom of the gun cabinet and I'll be using some of the oak plywood that I have to do that. And across the edge, you can see it's not that pretty. So I'm gonna laminate some of these thin strips of oak that I've cut across the edge just to cover that up and make it look a lot nicer. And then on the face of the door, I'll be attaching this molding across the edge on the face. Now that the glue has dried, I'm gonna start gluing on the other two edges onto this plywood and then start gluing on the face plate as well. Right here you can see the rack that I will make for the guns to stand upright in the cabinet. You can see these marks that I have to drill the holes. There will be six slots in this. So I'll drill the holes out first and then cut the slots the rest of the way through with the table saw. These marks are evenly spaced apart so that the guns will all line up and look uniform. All right, I'm gonna pick out a drill bit. I have my shotgun here just to test it, see what sort of width I'm looking at. I'll end up using an inch and a quarter drill bit for the slots on this, but if you have maybe a double barrel shotgun or a muzzle loader that's a little bit thicker than a typical gun barrel, you might wanna go a little bit larger than that. But for the most part, this should do just fine.
now I'm going to take the saw blade and tilt it at a 45 degree angle and cut off the corners on these slots. This will help direct the gun barrel into the slots a little bit easier. I mean, it's not necessary, but I think it will look a little bit better and might even be easier to use. Here's the finished rack to hold the barrels and I'm gonna just send it through my joiner real quick to clean it up a little bit before attaching it to the gun cabinet. I'm gonna take a few of my guns and test this out and it seems to work great. It holds the gun securely in place and it even gives room for a rifle with a scope on top as well. So now all I need to do is make a few slots for the stocks to slide down into and then the gun rack on the inside is finished. All right guys, that just about finishes up my video for today. I'm really excited about the progress on this cabinet. It's really nice and I might have to make one for myself as well because it will be sad to see this one go. But I still have one more video to finish up this cabinet and I need to build a glass door on the front, add all the hardware on, the finishing touches, sand, stain, and finish the wood, and then we should be good. So stay tuned for the next video. I'll post next week. All right, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you would like notifications whenever I upload new videos, click on that bell icon. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and help me out. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one.